Morning everyone, this is Grace with Classy Cuts Oasis, 14100 Kent Street. Aside from being an elite colorist and separately licensed for extensions and barbering and reflexology and Reiki, I have recently written a book and I wanted to share why today. So lots of the times um, in the shop I have women who are hurting and I have men who are with women who are hurting. And the problem is that the more that you're uh, not he the okay how do I say I'm gonna start that over the less healed that you are from your hurt the more hurt you're gonna keep seeing so I wrote this book uh, the first part is my life and my journey and the second part is a 52 week journal um, on healing and and how I got where I was because lots of time during my journey to heal I really struggled and never seemed to be able to find the answer of how. How do I get there? So that's what this book is. So here's the section of the book, everyone. Uh, it was a cold winter day. The snakes, though cold-blooded, could not produce their own body heat. The harsh temperatures and the wind had killed them. The walls that I had built around myself crumbled from old age. The mortar that held them together had lost its strength. Over time, they crumbled down like old crushed ginger snap cookies. Inside the castle, I had mustered the strength to tear the shell off of my back that I had grown to protect myself. My hands hadn't clenched anything in so long that even the mossy slime on the shell felt good to grip. As I released my body from the shell, my skin ripped. Pieces of my flesh were attached to it. God, that hurt. I pulled the shell that had harbored me safe for so long from my body anyways. Pieces of my shoulders and back were covered in blood. You could, you could ever so slightly see the adipose tissue that was beneath the dermal layers of my flesh. With it removed, I was left raw. No matter. I threw that shell with a strength I didn't know was in me. It smashed loudly against the castle wall. The pieces of old stone resembled broken glass shards. As I twisted my torso to shield my face from the flying debris, um, pieces of the stone stuck into the wounds in my body. I turned to see the winter snow, cold, but like a fresh new blanket of innocence, a new beginning. I hadn't be, been able to hear <sighs> through the castle walls that were protecting me, but really imprisoning me with all that hurt inside. The voice of my son was calling me. His breath left what looked like small clouds in the brisk, fresh air. The sunlight glistened, and his on his blonde hair. His bright blue eyes sparkled. The sight of him took my breath away. I gasped. I swiftly moved forward, not recognizing the chill of the snow underneath my bare feet. The crisp crunched noise as I stepped on the snowy ground was new to me. It created a feeling of ease in my mind. I bent down and looked straight into his eyes. My body was not in pain, nor did I feel stiff at all. I picked him up in one swoop and held him. He looked at the mark on my shoulders. His tiny, rounded pointer finger ran across one of those wounds. He innocently looked into my face and asked what they were. And I said, it's okay, son. Those will soon become scars. I began in a strong, proud voice. They are to remind us to keep walking forward. When it looks like there's no road, I'll build one for you. And with that very statement, we stop looking back. We move forward, learning, growing, experiencing, and observing. All right, guys, so once again, the reason that I'm sharing this part of my book with you is to show you that I, too, have been hurt, and I, too, had to find a road to healing. And so that's why I wrote this book, because it is a 52-week journal and a 52-week journey with you on how, how to get there and how to realize that I am or you are. You are so worth it. You are so much more valuable than you may notice right now. Okay, guys, have a good one.